We make that negativity more positive. It doesn't have to go to positive. It just has to become more positive. And as it moves more positive and the alveolus uh, contains air uh, that is more pressure than the atmospheric, we will exhale. So that is what we talk about as uh, ventilation. So let's talk about minted ventilation. And to do this, I'm going to go to the whiteboard and talk about minute ventilation because when we talk about minute ventilation, we want to talk about alveolar ventilation. So we talk about ventilation, expired ventilation, and we can say it's minute ventilation, if you will. Minute ventilation is going to be the sum of the alveolar ventilation liters per minute plus the dead space ventilation. Remember the minute ventilation, expired air that we're moving over time, liters per minute, will be made up of that which is going through just the conducting zone, which we call dead space. And remember about 70% or so reach the alveolus. So most of it's going to reach the alveolus. This is where the gas exchange is going to take place by the alveolar uh, ventilation. So what's really important is uh, minute ventilation, but if I'm not ventilating my alveoli, I'm not living. So we can convert this to volumes by breathing frequency. The rate at which I breathe frequency times the uh, exhaled volume, which will be tidal volume at rest, will equal the frequency times the alveolar volume plus the frequency times the dead space volume, the conducting airway volume. Okay? That's the minute ventilation. But what really counts is this alveolar ventilation. This alveolar ventilation. So what you really want to talk about when you're talking about ventilation physiologically, this is anatomy. What I've written here is anatomy. But physiologically, I want to know what this is. So I just solve for it. And that equals breathing rate times the volume of the alveoli uh, equals the total uh, ventilation, which is the, the exhaled volume times the frequency, uh, minus the breathing rate times the dead space. OK? So we can factor that out and say it this way, breathing rate times what we breathe out totally minus the dead space volume. And I'll leave it here. There are other ways to rearrange it. But if you learn this, anatomy, rearrange it functionally, because this is going to be alveolar ventilation, then this is the essence of the physiology of all ventilation right there. That formula is the essence of all physiology as it pertains to ventilation. Let's look at it. When we move to uh, the um, uh, uh, gas exchange, we're going to be talking about alveolar ventilation. So let's define it. Alveolar ventilation equals breathing rate times the total amount of air I'm breathing out minus the dead space volume that I'm breathing out. So what's going to maximize and minimize alveolar ventilation? Think about it. What's going to maximize and minimize alveolar ventilation? What physiologically can I do? Can I alter dead space? Anatomically, I cannot. You're born with your dead space. It's like we said, 25 to 30% or so of the total amount of air. Okay, can I alter the, uh, the size of the breath? Yes. I can have a small tidal volume, or I can do a whole vital capacity. I can make this go up. I can even make it go down. If I breathe <laughs> really shallow, then I made it go down. If I breathe <sighs> deep breaths, I've made it go up. I can also alter my breathing rate. So the two things that we can alter physiologically to alter alveolar ventilation, which is going to be the business end when we get to gas exchange physiology, is to alter our breathing rate and the depth of the breath that we take. And that's common sense. 
If I want to move more air into my blood, I want to move more air into my alveoli.